All right, welcome everybody. We've got ourselves a fresh new series for you. Spawning down in the bottom right for Team Liquid. It is Cure. In the red. And his opponent spawning up at the top left for Twisted Minds. It is classic. The best performing Protoss player at the biggest tournament so far we've had this year. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about Gamers 8. And, well, relevant, these two players actually met at Gamers 8. Now, this is not that same tournament. This is not, you know, the same stakes or anything like that, but it is still a... I would say it's still a good litmus test for how they're looking right now. Going into DreamHack, uh, well, ESL Masters Atlanta, which is going to be just... Not even a month from now. Actually, maybe... Wait, is it exactly a month? Could they potentially meet exactly a month from this day? Alexa, remind me... Uh, December 17th. And also play Desposito. Anyway. Uh, hard lead. It's... One of the smaller maps in the pool. Cure. One of the best Terran players in the world and executing that three racks, three one one stim combat shields, plus one weapons push. His builds are so clean, so clean. He is just a monster. It really feels like, uh, like Cure's macro is just about as perfect as you can get for the first, like, 11 to 12 minutes of the game. And it's not like it gets bad after that point. It's just that's where it feels really special. Uh, another player who's gotten extremely good at that and, well, I think at this point has maybe supplanted Kira as the best TVP player in the world is Clem. It's wild to think that Maru might not even be the best or second best TVP player in the world right now. He is potentially third best. And you could make an argument. I wouldn't make this argument, but many people, probably Beowulf first and foremost, would make the argument that Online Beyond is... And I mean, when you say it's just Online Beyond, is probably a top three TVP player in the world. I mean, he's good. He's really good. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, Stalker first. That is, uh, that is very interesting. We don't see that often, and we don't have a bunker here from Cure. This is going to be a little bit nasty to deal with. Already, the Marine's taken a couple of hits. Hellion is below half HP. There's going to be another Stalker crossing the map. This is, this has got potential. I mean, there's a Cyclone going to be coming out, but we've already got one SCD low on HP. Mining going to have to be evacuated. This is a successful little push for one HP of hull damage. Classic, while he hasn't killed anything, he's forcing lost mining time. This is this is a win. As long as, of course, he doesn't lose any units right now. Oak Cyclone already taking a lot of damage. It can't really get into the fight. One more hit, it goes down. But these two Stalkers are very low in HP. The Hellion might be able to get a cheeky double kill. Oh, baby, it's gonna. It's gonna. One more hit. Boom! All the XP getting sapped up. That's not really how it works. But if this Hellion could level up, it would already have, you know, wings and flaming skulls. It'd be killing it. That is actually a really nice pick off for Kier. Uh, Even though the Cyclone took a lot of damage, it did not go down. Now we are going to be seeing three gates coming online for Classic and a Robo Facility. Ooh. Kier loves this seven Marine drop. And Classic, look at this. He's going to warp in Stalkers. Oh, one of them instantly going down. Good job from Kier targeting that down. He will get another Stalker. Oh, this is all of a sudden looking great for Kier. Getting a couple of probes. He's probably not going to be able to find too much more. Classic nice target fire on the Marine. He's going to be able to take down. Oh, man. Look at the healing. Jeez, that took four volleys before he cleaned that up. And he actually loses... Oh, my God. He loses quite a few more uh, probes in the natural. Very effective play from Kira. And now the worker counts are even. What's the stim situation looking like? Well, it hasn't started yet. Hang on, that's actually... 
While Cure's economic position is great, his second and third barracks are very late. Did he just not build them, or was he prioritizing... I mean, he prioritized Raven and Interference Matrix, but that's not a particularly expensive upgrade. 50-50. Uh, by the way, we do have this medevac just hiding in the volcano. Yeah, they'll never expect it if we hide in Yellowstone National Park. Well, yeah, because it's currently erupting. Yeah, exactly. I'll never expect it. Uh, yeah, weird. Weird move. But, of course, that's just how the map works. It is funny that, like, it is really disguised. But regardless, we're going to be seeing a basically two-base storm set up here from Classic. And Cure... I mean, he's got this Raven across the map. The fact that he didn't build two Ravens off of the uh, Interference Matrix research is very strange. We are going to be seeing quite a few probes going down already. Three probes. Not bad. There's that Storm upgrade and a very quick armor upgrade coming in from Classic. Nifty. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty late stim in combat shields, all things considered cure though i mean his scv count is fantastic like it's very nice raven able to nestle itself into a very annoying position how many high templar do we have three high templar oh cure started oh my god he's gonna kill the high templar no classic no bow, 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 bow. Oh, that's a big pick off for Kira. That's very nice. One of the first three High Templar going down is a gigantic find. And Kira, he is ready to push out right now. Stim, combat shields, plus one weapons all coming on. I said they were late. They're actually, like, th this is pretty fast. This is still going to be 730 as he hits the other side of the map. 721 as all the upgrades are done. Now, Classic is ready with Storm, but... I don't know, Kev. This looks pretty tough to hold. Where's that third High Templar? It's in the main base. So there's only one High Templar with Storm. Another one getting close. 64 energy. Widowmind will burrow on up. Oh, they do manage to get fully burrowed. And the Zealots try and split. Not going to be able to do too much. No Storms being casted just yet. Both the High Templar go down. That That's it. He's dead. He will... Right? Ah, uh, with two Immortals, Zealot Warpins. No, 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 this is too much bio. He's going to get run over. Third Immortal won't, will not do the deed. The, 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 do not do the deed. Will not do enough. And here, he's going to take game number one. Bing, bang, boom, it's all over. All right, here we go. Game number two. Spawning down on the bottom right for Team Liquid. It's Cure with the Killer Instinct. And a clean execution gets the job done. And his opponent spawning up at the top left. It is Twisted Minds Classic. With a nice little start. But Cure recovered. Got the double kill Hellion. The Raven got a kill on a High Templar. Which is the opposite of what we usually see there. Uh, got some probe damage. The Marine drop got a bunch of damage done. Everything that Cure did seemed to succeed. Everything that Classic did did not do anything. Gas first like a gangster. Oh, hell yeah. This gas first plus engineering bay block play is powerful. How are you doing, Eurystheus? By the way, this is a new... Sorry, this is not a new thing. Recently, someone went for a gate nexus... And by Gate Nexus, I mean skipping the gas. Firefly. Firefly did this first Clem, because Clem loves doing the... Uh, well, he just loves in general doing the Engineering Bay blocks. And seven or 16 gas, 18 Nexus is a great counter to the Engineering Bay block, because you get the Nexus before the block comes up. And I saw that, and I was like, holy guacamole. That's a spicy meatball. There used to be a Hellion drop build that looked, went like this. Uh, yeah, you. I mean, this is the same, technically, as the Hellion drop build. You just don't go for the proxy starport or the starport at all. You just expand. 
but you still get the reactor first. You still get the, well, in this case, it's marine reactor. I mean, most, most of the builds are the marine reactor, but you still get a very quick reactor and very quick reactor Hellions. And it works out really well because of course the concept is you got a Nexus in the main. You got a Nexus at the third. You can't defend both easily. It's bing, bada, boom, hardware. Hey, bing, bada, boom, hardware. Thank you, Dave Tester, for five dollar dues. Only donating because you are trying to hide your super secret Zerg nerfs. There's a class act supplier like Sal. Will you please play Artosis May Castle with me? No pressure. Yeah, I think I can do that. Uh, Sal is struggling with Hydralisks, and I'll make Hydralisks, so that sounds good to me. And he thinks this map pool is broken for Zerg, so he's probably going to play Battle Mech anyways. <laughs> yeah, let me know when. Let me know when. You want to win so bad? Fingers crossed. Uh, by the way, second barracks, no starport. Yeah, this is really interesting. Didn't repair up the Hellion fully. Just wanted to get it back to a little bit more HP. This is a really nice little wall from Classic. And the fact that he's gone Stargate Oracle is fantastic for the defense. Now, what he can do is he can hide the Oracle, keep the fact that he's gone Stargate hidden, and if uh, Cure tries to dart up the main... Ooh, drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now Cure gets faded. Go, go, go. Use the Hellion or the uh, Oracle. Use the Oracle. The, the units are trapped. Now is the time for Classic. Boom. That is going to be three Hellions going down. Can he get the fourth one? Yes, he can. All part of the game plan. Great defense. That is very good for Classic. He did lose one probe. He lost one Adept. But that was a fantastic defense. Drew him in. And then just, boom, punched him right in the in the gut well done by classic he does go for a phoenix after the oracle and then a robotics facility usually we'd see either no phoenix whatsoever or a few phoenix i assume he'll still add at least one more maybe he's just looking to lift the cyclone and dive in with the oracle but in this case there's two cyclones that really wouldn't work too well but that looks like that's what he wants to do oh he was checking for a widow mine okay that makes sense that makes sense Ah, he's going to lose this Phoenix, though. He gets one SCV. That's not worth it. That is not remotely worth it. And now the resources lost are pretty much even. Still, it's a nine worker lead for... Or, sorry, 11 worker lead for Classic. He starts up the Robotics Bay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, not against this. Not against this. Mm. Oh, force field on the ramp. Not really doing the job. And now the Cyclone going to be able to get double kill on the sentry. Uh-oh. Classic's in some trub trub. He's got the shield battery here and the immortal. But this is three Cyclones. Oh, well, now it's just two. Stim, though, is done. Without that shield battery, Classic might have gotten run over. He still might be in some trouble. Oh, he loses the immortal. He needs to bait him in the stasis ward. Oh, this is... This might actually just be a super fast 2-0. Big Stim coming on in, but I don't know. Yeah, I think Classic's just going to get run over. So far, not a lot of damage. Nice job from Cure. Baits out the Stasis Ward. Combat Shields is going to refresh these Marines a little bit. I wonder if they try and turn and fight. If Classic chases too far, like... Oh, okay, no, there's a barrier available. Uh, that actually wasn't as bad for Classic. Oh, well... I hear like a Lyo or something making a weird noise, but this is going to be a big stim coming on in. Colossus will pop out, and that is the saving grace for Classic here. Without that, he gets run over. Full stop. As it is, I think he even lost another stalker, and the trades are so thoroughly in favor of Cure. Oh, we're going to see an attempt to, well, Exploit the fact that one Colossus can only be in one place at one time, and that is a very successful exploitation of that concept. 11 probes getting picked off. Nice spread from Cure. He's going to stim in on top of this. He won't. He won't kill this. Uh, the Colossus feasting on those Marines. 12 kills. And honestly, uh, you know what? Honestly, this is not so bad for Classic. And now behind this, double forge in a Twilight Council. This is something he was doing like before gamers eight 
Uh, he was going Phoenix Colossus and then pivoting hard into, you know, upgrades and charge. And then blink behind it. And his 2-2 timings behind this were very powerful. He uh, managed to make his that charge and 1-1 one, one would finish at the same time. And it's a very nice concept. It is just difficult to make it work. Because if you do not survive, like surviving to that timing, if you make it there, is fantastic. But it is really difficult to make it to that timing. Now, the other th part of that coin, the other side of that coin, is that Cure did not go for a standard setup here. He's gone double engineering bay himself. So he's going to have a lot going for him. Now, this is kind of nice for Classic. He's going to be able to jump one of these medivacs. No boost. No boost being used. Cure? Cure? Finally. Okay, boosting the second medivac. He already lost the first. He was... I don't know if he's focusing on this Marine. He's focusing on a drop on the left side, I think. Classic does have that... Oh, Widowmind lift up is good. He doesn't get the kill on the first one, but... He will be able to lift the second one. And there we go. There's the kill on the first one. Second one going to go down. He's going to get the medevac as well. Very well handled from Classic. Doesn't panic. Comes out of it with a nice little pickup. Nice little cleanup. No lost mining time either. Now he's on 63 probes. He's going up to a fifth and sixth gas. All right, Classic. You know, you were in a tough spot, but you've, you've turned it around. You've turned it around. He still needs that 1-1 one, one and, and uh, charge to come online. But Cure is not pushing. Not right this moment. And he'd need to be pushing pretty much right this moment to take advantage of this pre-triple upgrade timing. Now, once again, Cure is still in a good position. He's on 66 SEVs. He's fully saturated on three bases. Classic, funnily enough, is actually the one out mi or, uh, mining out his, his main base first. Whereas Cure has not yet mined out all those mineral patches, despite the fact that mules are on the field. Obviously, Cure has not been mining every, uh, well, every spot. Still, Classic straight into Blink and 2-2. Two -two. Phoenix is picking off a couple of SCVs. That's kind of nice. Marine will spot the time with the fourth base and sees the charge is done. The thing is, Cure, it's not like you can just survive a timing from Cure and be fine. Like, yes, you survive his super deadly timings. He's still got so many tricks. Not even tricks. He's just got so much powerful play. Such good standard play behind his very impressively uh, executed and clean cut timings. And speaking of those timings, 2-2 two -two is looming. Now, I will say the plus two armor with Classic seemingly diligently chrono boosting his forges. It looks like Classic is going to catch up in the upgrade timing. Oh, oh this, this War Prism will get taken down for free. He spots the army, which is good. But this looks very deadly. Uh, pick off on a Marauder is, well, it's nice. And the Force Fields kind of discourage an attack. But this is another set of three upgrades. And because the Viking count is rather decent right now for Cure. Oh, there's the EMPs on a couple of Colossus. Ah, this is only one angle to attack into. Classic is going to be managing to push this back initially. And on the other side of the map, Zealot run by getting quite a few SCVs. Oh, Widowmind. Boom! Friendly firing on those Marines a little bit. Classic. Well, he's about to be on 2-2 two, two and blink. Meanwhile, DT Shrine coming on in very shortly. Classic survived another scary timing. All right. This one was actually, I think, scarier than the first one because there were Ghosts and Vikings out and he didn't have Blink yet. Classic. Ooh, doing some, some damn good work here. Here, though. Behind this, he is ready for... Or, well, getting ready for the next phase with that plus one ship weapons. He's going to be able to unlock powerful Liberators a little bit later. However, Classic, he might just find Cure completely out of position. Now, if Classic goes... Oh, this is actually looking very likely to be a base trade right now. Oh, classic though. Not in position to move first, and he's going to decide to go back home. Four, Vi or four Colossus being pulled. We're going to see probes being pulled to try and cover the Colossus. And it will be a big flank attempt, but a lot of probes going down almost instantaneously. Vikings will not target their uh, preferred targets. A lot of the medevacs do get taken down, but Cure still has a big army on the left side. However, it wasn't close enough to threaten 
so he feels compelled to back away. This is a kind of messy situation. Classic actually does have a small army supply lead. And he is moving very decisively with his army. Cure will force a bit of a base trade here. Okay, observers do spot the mines. There are missile turrets trying to come on out. They're not going to help too much. Recall was already used. That's a big stim on this army. Cure. Ah, that is a lot of ghosts. Can he hold the high ground? I don't think so. Classic goes right now. I think he can bust this. Oh, big EMPs on the ramp, though, are good. And he does hit the uh, War Prism. Now, 3-3 three, three is a huge target for Classic. He obviously wants to breach the main base as quickly as possible. Cure not going into the main base, not denying his opponent's 3-3. Three, three. There is a... Well, there are a couple of DTs on the field. Cure is trying to buy time. They're both maybe going to be able to get up to their 3-3, three, three, which would be big. Ooh, did the Observers go down? No, they have survived. Missile Turret getting a lot of damage on something. Might have just killed a Colossus with the help of the Vikings. A lot of SCVs going down. Cure is going after bases, but not workers so much. This is going to be a very weird game. Oh, nice blink forward. Grabs the units trying to escape in the medevacs. Observers, one of them does fall to the Missile Turret. We will see how many command centers are alive. There are still two orbitals after the main command center goes down. Both players going to complete their 3-3. The fact that Cure did not go into the main base is a big problem for him. Classic has killed off a lot of, com well, two of the command centers of his opponent, but he's lost all but his main nexus. And Cure is able to save a lot of SCVs. It's 34 to 25. It looks like the crisis management for Cure was just a little bit better. And of course, he's got the more mobile army. Now, Classic maintains his main base. Cure does not, which means that Cure, if he loses all these depots, he is going to get brutally supply blocked and will not be able to rebuild. And it looks like that is exactly what's going to happen. And in fact, the army supply, did Classic recall part of his army? Or has he just been making more? Oh, what am I? Okay, does get dodged. Cure is building four depots at a time. That is pretty much depleting his bank, but he's got a lot of money in that bank. And that will unsupply block him. Oh, no, it won't, actually. He had to build uh, multiple more because he lost another one. Oh, Widowmine does get a shot. Cure, the only way he can take a fight right now. Oh, ah, that was a bit of a weird blink. He blinks part of his army into the splash, and it's almost worse than if he lost the Stalker. Okay, Classic needs to utilize his Colossus effectively. Cure needs to fight with the help of the Planetary. Classic is doing this great, though. Classic's the one who gets to decide where the fight is. Oh, man, all the barracks that were rebuilt just got killed. Starport gets saved, but look at how clumped up this army is. Cure cannot repair indefinitely. He can repair for a long time, but he cannot repair indefinitely. And that's why this Liberator is trying to come out. It's trying to make Classic have to come at Cure, but I just don't think that's really going to matter. Oh, we're actually going to see Classic going for it. I don't know if this is the play. That was absolutely not it. Now, he does get four skills on a couple of units. That's very good. Classic, to be honest, he can maneuver. There we go. I was just going to say, he can maneuver around with the Colossus and out position his opponent. There is this base on the top side that is mining with mules. It's kind of nice. Here, though, I mean, he can't heal. He can't really fight this army. The Oh, my God. The Colossus goes so deep. Uh, but it doesn't even matter. Blink forward on top of the Liberator that just popped out will go down. Target fire on the SCVs is going to take care of them. And with that going down, Classic wins an extremely chaotic base trade. Very well done. And we're going to game three. All right, here we go. Game number three. The ace match. Spawning down on the bottom left. Or in the top right. Top left. Wow. Third time's a charm. Spawning up at the top left for Team Liquid. It's Cure in the red and his opponent spawning down on the bottom right for twisted minds it is classic in the blue and for just a minute i was like oh no is he making a mistake tacking into this planetary but no now he's able to target fire correctly with a colossi targeted down the army first and then switched to the scvs very well done now it looks like cure is going to go for the same play he went for in game number two with the gas burst engineering bay block again. And you know what? I mean, 
Didn't work out for him too well in that game. Oh, no, no, no. He's, I was like, wait, what is he doing right here? He was just hiding it for until he had the 125. And in fact, throws down that engineering bay right at 125 minerals, which is kind of neat. Kind of neat, kind of neat. Classic. Well, he hasn't yet checked the natural. It'll be gate cybernetics core. And he's just going to be like, all right, cool. Wait, is he going to take the pocket third? Uh, I mean, I guess it's not so bad. Cure, look at this. He was ready to block the line third in class. It's like, yeah, I'm one step ahead of you, bro. I'm already taking the wrong base. Nah, it's not the wrong base. It's just a base that is more difficult to defend. Bend, but at the same time, this is a base that you can siege with liberators, with tanks. It's it's a little nasty to defend. So maybe that's why Classic takes this position. It's still, I mean, like a siege tank here is nasty. I don't know. I mean, the main problem is like the early Hellions, you know? Early Hellions or an early free racks or something like that. Uh, same exact setup as the previous game. Did Classic scout at all? No. No scouterino. He checked the watchtower. I think just maybe... Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's looking for proxy starports. But no such thing. Now, will be a Stargate again. Once again, at the front. They worked so well for him in the previous game. Why not do it again? It's not really in a dangerous position. I'm very much on board with this. Now, this is a little bit dodgy for Classic. I think this Adept might just very well go down. This looks really dangerous. Yeah, there we go. It does fall. Can Classic find a kill on the first Hellion? Oh, yes, he can. No, he missed the target fire. Oh, that's bad. That is very, very bad for Classic. He has lost two of his three early game units. Ay, 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 and look at that. Yeah, he pulls the probes immediately. He's like, well, now I can't defend the base. He can't. He didn't even have a pylon here for a shield battery. That's really bad. Thank you very much, Shift, by the way, for the prime resub at 27 minutes. Now, good job from Classic on the target fire. He does snipe down the first Hellion, the one that was already low in HP. And Classic, once again, did go for the Oracle. I do think it's the right call, by the way, for Classic to pull those probes. Because if he doesn't, he's losing workers. That is not a question, it is a fact. Once again, Cure going for uh, more barracks before Starport. This time going up to three racks. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, oh. oh nice spread on the probes. Very nicely done from Classic. Only takes two probe losses. Good job. Obviously, the shield battery helps a lot. Well, ma well managed. Well managed. Mischief was managed. Double Cyclone looking to set a little ambush. They did get that Phoenix. Okay, Cure. He's well positioned to deal with this. Good job. Now, I wonder if Cure is going to go for the Starport eventually, or if he's just going to try and push with Stim and Combat Shields and run over the third base. Like, I mean, that push in game number two with the heavy Marine play and three Cyclones looked really deadly. The Colossus popped out just in the nick of time. And that was really the only thing that kept Classic alive. Now, Classic is going to be having a similar setup, but this is a similarly dangerous-looking push. Actually, this is basically the exact same push. Second Immortal. Oh, is it going to get intercepted before it can join up with the rest of the army? No. And in fact, Classic is going to find the army of Cure. Scan comes in. Oh, this Immortal. No, no, no. Don't get lost. Stim completing right there. Force field trying to block the entrance into the natural, but I mean, this is not going to be blocked. Oh, there's nothing to stop the units from just running into the main base. Colossus is about to pop out. 
probes are going to get pulled. Nice split here from Classic. No, he pulled them back in. There was a way out, but he just... Ra oh. Well, the one good thing for Classic is that Cure's army is very trapped. But he's going to lose at least one Immortal. Oh, he's going to lose a few more probes, too. There is another rally coming through. Stasis Ward trapped a couple of Marines, but it's about to expire. Ah, this is already so so much damage 21 probes go down look at the worker count right now this is a drastically different scenario from the previous game where they were like even on workers after this previous setup oh can classic get this one far running away uh marine nope does force a big stim but it's a big stim that kills a lot of units two stalkers going down right there Nice job from Kirk catching Classic Snoozin. Kirk can just jump this. Yeah, he can. Guardian Shield is going to get popped. That's not going to be enough. Extended Thermal Lance not done in time. Colossus goes down. We might see the Immortal burn through everything. Classic now is just Marines left over. Uh, back. Cure wisely picks up and gets out after killing all the important units. I mean, he didn't get the Immortal, but he killed the Colossus, killed the Stalker. Ay ay ay! Classic is in dire straits right now. He's down nine workers. He's trying to do double forge again. This time, though, he cannot afford the the Templar or pardon me, the Twilight Council as well. He is, of course, on triple nexus, and triple chronoing probes will generate workers very quickly. And to that point, he's only seven. Well, now four workers down. As Kira is actually a little bit supply blocked at 94. There we go. And gets himself unblocked. A couple of depots finishing up. I mean, Classic is not completely out of this game yet. Oh, Kira looking for the snipe on this one, Phoenix. But Classic, fortunately paying attention very quickly, gets on out of there. Classic is not out of this game yet, but he is really in a bad position in a terrible position. Cure already mining off his third base. Classic is caught up in workers, which is amazing. Fantastic from Classic, but yeah, he's really on the back foot. There, the Twilight Council finally coming on in. Finally, Classic is able to afford the gateway transition. I do like that he started up the 1-1 very quickly to try and keep pace with his opponent's upgrades, and he's just hoping that he can find an engagement with like, yeah, two Colossus and three Phoenix. Or in this case now about to be three Colossus and three Phoenix and a couple of Immortals, but the spread already good from Cure. He snipes down the Immortal almost instantly. And of course the tanks in here are gonna be a problem to deal with as well. And now we've got a drop in the main base. Classic can't even really deal with the army at the front. How is he gonna deal with eight stimmed combat shielded plus one Marines? Oh, and the answer is he's not. He is going to have an Artosis pile on getting depowered. Two gateways, two forges, too much to handle. Now, the one thing I will say is that the army of Cure on the other side is not actually super mobile. Like, it is still reliant on the tanks a little bit, but I mean, the tanks are doing good work. And kill this gas. They can reach this pile on. Wow, not both of them, but still, one of them can. Classic has repowered the gateways and the forges. He still isn't stuck fired up plus one, uh, uh, charge yet. He hasn't finished that 1-1. One, one. Classic is doing about everything he can, but Cure is not letting him back into the game just yet. That's a big stim. You don't want to just sit there with a big stim like that. But that's a lot of marauders here. 1-1 one, one is about to complete. Job from Classic, Battery Overcharge, letting him uh, kill the one tank with a Colossi. And the rest of the army of Cure kind of just sitting there, taking a lot of damage. But it will get healed up very quickly. He's already back up to full. Classic, I do like that he's still pumping Colossi. It's kind of just a Hail Mary. He's actually going up to a fifth Colossus right now. Ooh, Phoenixes. Uh, they do... Uh, oh, there's the EMP. Zealots don't have their charge. Classic just started it. There's the lift on the Steve Tank. Will get taken down by the Phoenixes. 
Good concave from Kira, but here comes the bio. One Colossus does get sniped down. I mean, look at the supplies right now. It's a 50 army supply lead nearly. Oh, nice bait on the EMP. Once again, Classic is doing pretty much everything he can, but Kira, he's landing the fourth command center against a Protoss that is very much stuck on three bases. Oh, Classic nipping in at the Metavax, doing his best. Classic does have the 2-2 two -two on the way now. And his charge is getting close. How many Widow Mines do we have? No Widow Mines. Is it still tank production? Added on two more tanks. Okay, now he's switching into Widow Mines. Yeah, getting that reactor. I was going to say, with this number of charge lots, you don't want to go tank still, I don't think. This might be a big timing for, for uh, Classic to try and take a cost-efficient fight. The Viking versus Phoenix count is eight Phoenixes to four Vikings. Oh, if he can hit the Marines, that might be the fight he's looking for. Cure does have a good position on the tanks, but he will get lifted. Oh, but oh my goodness, he just burns right through the charge lot. Battery overcharge will keep the Colossus alive against the first move-in. But Cure got a plenty good enough engagement there. It was without 2-2. It... He wasn't able to snipe the Colossus, but he still traded very well against the Gateway units. And now his 2-2 is about complete. I will say Classic's 2-2 is way closer than I expected it to be. But Phoenix Count was also whittled down. Vikings are going to be much more replaceable. There's still EMPs available for here. How many Marauders do we have? Not a ton. Only four Marauders in the front line. Quite a few more reinforcing, though. Oh, and probes are starting to get blasted by the siege tank. Nice snipe from Classic. He grabs the one Viking in the back that was low in HP. Now 2-2 completes. Classic going to try and pull the trigger. Archons are available, but the EMPs are going to be difficult to deal with. Nice lift on the siege tank, but it will get protected very quickly. It's four Colossus. They pack a mighty wallop. But that is not going to be enough. We actually see a uh, Colossus almost going down to the Widow Mine there. Battery overcharge gets popped in the back, but Classic has been knocked below 100 supply. Cure has just been slowly chipping away at the army, chipping away at the eco. He's been in a big lead from the get-go. And Classic has, has fought on valiantly, but he's never been able to find the fight he needed. Never been able to really break the position that Cure has been taking. Never been able to get the, the really good cost-efficient fight. Despite some nice positioning, the drop of the main base is well, it's just running a month. Yeah, Classic, he is on 36 probes now. 80 army supply down, and he's going to get forced to tap out. GG gets called. Cure takes the game and the series. Very well played by Cure. If you enjoyed that one, make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.